Yo, AV Academy, what's going on? It's your boy Avery B. Welcome back to another day on the grind, on the upload schedule. Let me know if y'all tuned in, if y'all been tuning in every day where we dropping daily game, daily sauce of the life of AB. Today, I got a very, very, very special topic. You know what I'm saying? Some shit that I personally go through. Even though everything is a personal documentation of my life, everything I go through. This one right here is probably the um the newest of all the other ones, I guess you could say. But today's video is stop blaming everybody else, in specific your parents. Stop blaming everybody else and blame yourself, you feel me? I heard a quote not too long ago, and the quote said, when you take 100% responsibility of everything that happens in your life, then you will truly be happy, you feel me? And it's crazy to think about, let me say that again. When you take 100% responsibility of everything that happens to you, bro, you'll be happy. You know what I'm saying? And they say that because it is, bro. A lot of times something happened. Think about in your life where something happened and first thing in your head that happened. The first thing you say is, oh, that's that's because so-and-so. So-and-so did this, so this happened. So-and-so, da 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 so-and-so. My mama, my daddy. Man, my brother knocked that over, so fuck that. You feel me? Even, bro, a lot of this shit might not be your fault, but I guarantee you, if you take responsibility to everything that motherfucker happened to you, bro, it, it just make it your fault, bro. Even if it's not your fault, just make it your fault. Because the next time something happens, you're going to even remove yourself. And I'm going to give y'all examples like I always do in my real life shit. So, in my IRL life, bro, I kind of caught myself probably like a month ago saying some shit. And I'm like, damn, I still ain't got over the past. Like, I'm still blaming other people for shit that happened right now. You know what I mean? And that shit probably subconsciously holding me back because I'm blaming these other people for some shit. That they did fucking eight years ago. So let's talk about my let's talk about credit, right? If y'all don't know what credit is, man, credit is your ability to I ain't gonna lie, credit really weird. Credit is your ability to pay shit back. So credit means your ability to manage debt. But credit is fucking huge in America. If y'all don't know, you can do anything with fucking credit, right? For the longest of time, before I've been thinking about shit like this before I've been on high vibrations, high frequencies, before I even cared about this type of shit. My credit was fucked. And you want me to tell you what I did about my credit being fucked? I blamed other people about my credit being fucked. You know what I'm saying? That was my excuse of having bad credit. You feel me? I always blame people. My credit was probably like on some fire harmless shit. You feel me? What I do? You know what I'm saying? What I, what I do? Oh, hey, yeah, my credit fucked up. When I was younger, they put a bill in my name. They ain't pay that shit, which was true. You know what I'm saying? They put a bill in my name, and they ain't pay the shit. But that shit happened when I was 18. What you do when you was 19? What you do when you was 20? What you do when you was 21? You feel me? So for these whole three, four years, bro, I'm blaming some shit that happened when I was 18 instead of just fixing this shit myself, making this shit my problem. You know what I'm saying? The sooner you make this shit your problem, the sooner you make your life your problem, your life gonna get better, bro. You feel me? And I just one day just came to a realization like, fuck, why the fuck am I blaming these people and I can fix it myself? Fast forward today, my credit score says good. You know what I'm saying? So I stopped blaming other people for shit and just started blaming myself. Same thing with like, Financial literacy, bro. I grew up in a family that did not have that shit. I grew up in a family that they paid the bills. Who the fuck knows how? You know what I'm saying? And that shit passes down, bro. Whatever your family go through, it kind of passed down to you. And you start taking these habits, but you don't have to. Let me tell you how. Blame your motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? So anything in your life, what I want you to do right now is take 100% responsibility for everything that happens in your life. I'm going to give you another example in another situation. So... I went to college, right? I did not want to go to college. I ain't want to go to college for the life of me, bro. But it was it was a situation at home where it was like, okay, you just grab. I'm talking about the day after I graduated, nigga. It's like, what you doing? You gonna get a job? You gonna go to college? Pick one. You see what I'm saying? So it was one of them situations, right? So I'm like, fuck it, I go to college. I don't want to go to college, but I'm gonna go to college. Went to college. Transferred college, dropped out of college. As soon as I dropped out, I'm like, man, why the fuck y'all let me do this shit, man? I'm pissed off. I'm damn near holding grudges at folks. Like, why y'all let me do this? Now I'm in debt. I'm mad because I'm in debt. My credit score fucked up. I'm blaming other people. You know what I'm saying? So for a long time, I'm just blaming these people on doing what they did when all actuality, all I had to do was take responsibility of, even though it's not my, my not, not my motherfucking fault, but it is my life, bro. I had to take control, take responsibility of my life 
and realize, okay, they might have put me on a path what I ain't like, but I'm still young. What the fuck am I going to do about it? I see a lot of older people. I'm talking about upwards 30, 40, 50, 60 still blaming other people for their problems in their life. And I'm just so thankful that I caught it early and I hope that I can get y'all to catch it early. Think about anything that you blaming somebody for, bro. It could be as little as uh, my teeth chip because this now I'm scared to talk to people. Fuck that. Go get your shit fixed. You know what I'm saying? Somebody somebody broke it, but shit, you can fix it. It's, it could be as little as that, bro. Anything that ever happens to you, bro. If you get into a car accident, blame yourself. Don't blame the motherfucker that swerved out in front of you. Blame you. Because once you take full responsibility of it, the situation is going... It sound, bro, it sound kind of crazy coming out of my mouth. I hope y'all understand what I'm saying, bro. Once you take full responsibility of every situation that happens, bro, you're going to figure out ways on how you can combat it the next time. For example, say you went to a party and you got too drunk, you know what I'm saying? And your friend's the one that invited you to this motherfucker and they kind of left you stranded. And you blaming your friends because you ain't want to get drunk and they left you. Fuck that. Don't blame your friends. Blame you. You know what I'm saying? You the one who went out when you weren't supposed to. If you didn't go out when you weren't supposed to, that wouldn't even be a situation. So don't blame them. Blame you. This situation can literally be any any mistake in your life. Like, instead of blaming them, bro, be like, okay, what did I do wrong? What can I do better this next time? How can I make this shit better? And when you think like that, I guarantee you, your life is going to be a hundred times better, bro. Just take responsibility, bro. That's pretty much it for today's video, man. You know, I'll just be giving y'all quick, real quick, real goddamn burst of motivation, energy. You know what I'm saying? So I hope y'all enjoying this. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you want more of this, make sure you click the first link in the description. Join AB Academy. I do weekly courses. I do weekly calls. I do daily everything, bro. You know what I'm saying? We really be in there. We really be active. If you join up, make sure you stay active. Also, make sure you join up because we about to drop our brand new April challenge, April discipline challenge, man. I'm excited for that. So come up there. You know what I'm saying? Come get right with me. AB, let's do it.